Now, David, we have just seen the news that the Independent Parliamentary Expenses Authority Assurance Review found that you contravened laws by claiming taxpayer-funded expenses for a private trip to the Gold Coast. The Australian is reporting this evening that the IPA review said that the visit contravened Section 26 of the Parliamentary Business Resources Act. Now, uh, I know you've paid back, we've repaid the expenses and for the flights, but what do you have to say about this? Yeah, uh, uh, look, this was a return trip between sitting weeks and most MPs return to their homes uh, between sitting weeks. I don't normally because it's too far for me to go home. I had a family event, I came back to Queensland and because I live in south, southern Queensland, I felt that I could come to two ports, Gold Coast or Brisbane. And the difference between a Gold Coast flight and a Brisbane flight is a couple hundred dollars. That's why we thought that you could go to either port. I made a mistake. If you have found that I couldn't, I could only go to Brisbane, uh, which was a couple hundred dollars difference. I didn't claim for any accommodation while I was home on weekend for my own personal family time, uh, but I repaid it beyond that. The only thing that I did wrong was I came to the wrong port. I came to Brisbane rather than Gold Coast. Uh, and I admit that, and I put my hand up, but I wasn't aware that that was wrong. I thought I could come to either two because they were similar in price. Uh, and I paid not just the price of the flight of coming back, but I paid for the flight going back to Canberra and any other associated costs. But I didn't claim any nights. I wasn't there on the taxpayer. I came home to be with my family, which is what most MPs do between city weeks. Uh, and it's the one week that I actually did get to come home to see my family because normally I, I have to travel and I wouldn't get home till Friday night. Uh, and uh, have to travel Sunday morning. So it was a family event. Uh, I put my hand up and I didn't pay just what was owed to taxpayer. I paid more because I didn't want there to be any conjecture. Well, how, and that much, was the mistake I made. I put my how hand much, up. How much, how much was that? Well, the differential between a flight to the Gold Coast and, and, and Brisbane is a couple hundred dollars. So had I flown back to Brisbane and then found my own way to my family event, um, I would have saved the taxpayer about $200 difference. But I paid back... Both flights, uh, but it was about a couple of thousand dollars. I'm prepared to do that. I didn't want there to be any conjecture. I want to be upfront with the Australian people. I only, I only travel on the tax dime to make sure that I'm representing the Australian people. But I do have a family, like most MPs, and, uh, and on weekends between parliamentary sittings, I think most MPs want to go home and see their families. And I think Australians want us to see our families. And I don't think there's anything wrong with that. Uh, it's just that I got the wrong advice about where I could go, whether the Gold Coast or Brisbane, very similar ports, a couple hundred dollars difference, but to make sure there was no conjecture, I paid more. Now, I'm prepared to do that because I want to be upfront with the Australian people. I have an electorate three times the state of Victoria and I'm, I'm lucky to see my kids and my wife uh, every second weekend if I'm lucky on yeah. that. I guess, David, a little proud. I mean, people will see this. We're in the middle of a cost of living crisis and uh, expenses across both sides of the political spectrum are, are coming under such scrutiny right now on the, on the taxpayer dime. Do, do you concede it? It's not a good look at all. No, so they should. But there's a realisation, if you want someone to do this job, you've got to have a family at the end of it. I mean, if you want people to put their hand up and put their name on the ballot paper, they've got to have a family that's there to support them. Now, I only, I only came back to Queensland because I wanted to be with my family between sitting weeks. Uh, I only do that rarely. Most MPs do that every, every sitting fortnight. Um, I came back to the wrong port. The difference was a couple hundred dollars. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm being up, and, up front and honest. That's what I, I want to be to the Australian people. I'm not taking anything more than what I, I wanted to, but I just wanted to be with my family. I think that's a reasonable expectation of any Australian. If you don't, if you don't think it's reasonable for politicians to be with their family, then who'd want to do it? Mm. I only get to see my family as, as luckily as I am every second weekend because my electorate is three times the state of Victoria. Mm. Uh, now, my city MPs will fly back every weekend to be with their families, mm. get to be with them, and they'll, they'll, they'll sneak home and that's quite easy for them. It'll take me another three hours, two and a half to three hours, to get from Brisbane Airport to my home. Right. So am I not to see my family? Do they not have the right to see me? Yeah. No, I understand what you're saying, David Little Proud. We uh, obviously just have to ask the question. Thank you so much for joining us. Yeah, no, it's a legitimate question. Re really appreciate you joining us on the show, David Little Proud. Thank you.